how you will be coming to court henceforth? Yes, this I'll be coming. By the Supreme Court uh, judgment, I've been given license to dress in our religious attire because it will be infringed, it will be an infringement or a violation, a flagrant violation of my fundamental rights to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion for anybody to stop. You saw I went into the Supreme Court and then uh, you see I've we'll been given the license. Even my children will dress like this to the school. And uh, I will encourage my fellow traditionalists, those who are serving the local, and Shongo and Shokono, God of Thunder, God of Iron, I will encourage them to dress like this because it's always good to be religious. We need to be close to the spirits. You can see I'm not wearing any shoes. This is the, in fact, if I told me that if I wear shoes, I'll be dead. What would I do? I have to obey the spirits. You see this eye? If without it, I, I can't see the evil spirits coming to attack me. So with this, I can see them. So you see, yeah. <laughs> we'll be giving license yeah. to, by the Supreme Court just, uh, judgment of Friday. We'll be giving the license to dress in our religious outfit because it's the mood, it's the mood of our our worship. So in in a situation that the security agent challenge you and they hold up for your arrest, what nobody, will you do? nobody can do it. Nobody. Even the president can. Buhari can't arrest me. In my, my own fundamental rights, nobody can. It's my fundamental rights. So then, since this one is alien to, to law profession, are you saying that you can stand before John to I will. argue a matter? Sure, this is my outfit. Sure, this is my outfit. I can stand anywhere. This is my outfit. What is alien? There is no law that, there is no law. Section 45 of the Constitution that derogates the right to freedom of, uh, that the rights in chapter 4 generally, which includes the right to freedom of um, religion, uh, it's not clear on, he said there should be a law that can derogate this my right. And there's no law in Nigeria, there's no even law in the law, Legal Practitioner Act that derogates or tells me how I'm going to dress, whether it's in black and white, there's no law that is stopping me. And once there's no law that is stopping me, by virtue of section 45, which says, uh, if there's a law that the law can override my my fundamental rights, if that law is reasonably justifiable in a democratic society, but anyway, there's even no law in the first place. So, so there's nothing. Well, what if the Supreme Court reverses itself?